In this quick video guide, we're going to do a quick tour of Cinema 4D Lite. Now, this version is available at the moment only if you download, install, and use After Effects. If you use After Effects, you can access that Cinema 4D Lite version. I'm going to open up here the Lite version of Cinema 4D because when you download and install After Effects in Adobe Creative Cloud or by using the, the After Effects application, you're going to have links to download and install the Cinema 4D Lite. So these are shown in the After Effects video course if you're interested. And also if you're interested in the bigger version of Cinema 4D, which is the Cinema 4D Studio, you will find also video courses and guides in our channel. So look for them, go in the playlist, you will find Cinema 4D among other uh, 3D software and also After Effects among other um, motion graphics and uh, video editing software. So let's get started here. It's pretty similar to Cinema 4D, and let's start with the navigation. So if we hold the Alt key of the keyboard and we click with the left mouse, we can orbit around the center of the world here and the axis. And then if we scroll the scroll wheel, we can do the zoom. If we hold the Alt key again and press the scroll wheel, we can do the pan. And that's basically the three most important navigation tools. You will find them also up here. You see the pan. And then here you have the dolly or the movement of the camera, which is like going back and forward, like scrolling with a scroll wheel. And then you have orbiting. You also have maximizing and minimizing the, the window. So you can click with the left mouse to go on one view and then you can maximize it. Or you can also press the um, middle mouse button if you want to maximize and minimize. So uh, let's work just with this uh, view right here. And right now we are using the default camera, but uh, we can also create our own. Now, Cinema 4D Lite is basically the same interface of Cinema 4D Studio, just it's different um, because it's lacking some of the like most advanced tools that Cinema 4D has. But here we can find all the basic tools, like the creation of uh, curves, like a text, for example. And let me just orbit here. Or we can, uh, let's just edit this text. Now, usually when you bring in something, Cinema 4D is going to appear here on the right because this is the outliner. It's going to show you like everything you, you're going to insert in Cinema 4D. And down here, you have the attributes where you can modify the, the selection. So right now we are selecting the text. So I can change here the text spline into something else, which could be like C for the light. So we can just... Yeah, change the text a little bit. And what, what else we can do? We can, of course, like apply some of the modifiers for this. We can also like customize even more the text again down here. And you also find the, the toolbar here on the uh, right side. You can also click and drag and place it like on the uh, left side, depending where you want it. And uh, you can also go to window customize the interface and you can also like reset the original interface so if you go here to layouts we can click and it's going to go back to the standards i'm going to leave it like this so you have uh, shapes 2d shapes 3d solids text and uh, some of the uh, modifiers here and generators uh, cameras lights and so on you can access from here also and you have here generator, so let's like extrude this. There we go. Now, to extrude it, we actually go here in the outliner. We click and drag and place it here. So now we have the actual extrusion. And I can click on the extrusion object and I can like decrease a little bit the extrusion. And then uh, let's change the material. So if I want materials, you, you will find them up here. Click on the plus, and that's going to be a new material. Now, also here in the material, you can create new PBR. You can create new standard material. You cannot create all these others materials. So you have like limitation. If you go to create also, you can see we cannot access to many of these others materials. So you, you will not find each single material that you can find in the Cinema 4D Studio. Now, if I click and drag the sphere of the material onto the object, I will apply the material. And then if I double click, I can get into the material editor. I can change this. For example, let's change the color. 
And let's make something. Well, I'm going to use the picker here. The pick color, I'm going to get like this purple Cinema 4D color. And there you go. So we also have a material. And that material has a lot of channels we can use, like luminance to make it a light and other stuff. But again, this is all covered in the Cinema 4D Studio a course that you find in channel. I'm going to deactivate now the materials. And let's move on here. So you have creation. You can create here uh, meshes, generators. You can create deformers to the form fields, environments, cameras. So if I click here in the camera, it's going to create a camera placed on the position where my view is. So if I go in the four views, I can see the camera there. Now let's go back in here again, press with the scroll wheel to make it bigger and then hold the Alt key to navigate with the left mouse and the middle mouse. So now we have a text, we have a camera. Let's also add a light. So I'm going to go to create. Well, actually, I'm also going to create another mesh. So just to show you, and um, let's create like a platonic. And then I will put it here. There you go. So you can see how easy it is to create objects and apply effects. And let's also apply a light. So you have different types of light. These are really, um, I think, all the lights that you have in, in Cinema 4D. So you have all the lights you can play with. And now I'm going to place this light right here and so camera slides materials you can use textures also in the materials and well you can also use some polygonal modeling changing the mode you can use different types of selections and also select something because some of these are not available if you're not selecting something so um, you have the spline so you can draw curves you have um, the possibility to work with the mesh. MoGraph, you only have like fracture, and that's it. You, you don't have any, any other MoGraph generator. So this is kind of a biggest uh, lack here in, um, in, in Cinema 4D Lite. And then you, you can animate. So if I want to animate, for example, this, I can click on the auto key here and perhaps start to rotate. So here on the left, you have selection, move, rotate, scale and then creation of the spline. So if I click here, I will add a keyframe. If it doesn't automatically just click here on this little square, and then I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna start to rotate this around. So I move forward with the CTI current time indicator, click and drag with the lamp mouse, and just change the position to create the animation. So now if I go back, we can see the animation right there. Really, really simple and easy to animate, create motion graphics in Cinema 4D. You can create 2D or 3D motion graphics. And this is why it's useful to use it in, in After Effects, in combination with After Effects. So you have here a possibility to play the animation, go back and forth. So this is all the timeline to work with time, space, animation. And then here you have also the snaps to work more precisely, work planes to work more precisely, and then we have render. So when you're ready, you can just click here and you're gonna render your scene. If you go into render settings, you will see that you don't have like the, the most advanced renderers, but we do have the standard render, which is pretty fine. And then we have the viewport render. So you can define the, the render. And in Cinema 4D, we also have Redshift, which is a powerful render engine. And so um, I guess this is it for this quick video guide. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel and also to stay updated. And if you want to thank us, if you want to support us, please join the channel as a supporter. Thanks for watching. Go check the other courses in Cinema 4D, After Effects, and many others. See you in the next video.